Hey everybody, Charlie Iron 2 here and welcome back to Disco Elysium. We last left off, well, we found these three young juvenile delinquents in this tent beside this church here and we are going to question them. Let's go ahead and continue. I think we're going to talk to Andre now. You see a youngish man bleaching the tips of his hair with a toothbrush. He puts the toothbrush down and extends his hand in greeting. Hello, I'm Andre. It's a pleasure to meet you. Well, you've got good manners. There is definitely something futuristic about his hair. Aggressively so. You get the sense that this is what the future will look like. Imbecilic. Yes, should the future ever come, it will look deeply imbecilic. Like this guy. <laughs> Shake his hand. His grip is strong, sweaty, and warm. He's trying to project and inspire confidence. This is my posse. Noid. The young man with earrings looks at you suspiciously. Uh, an egghead. Egg! The tape player high above his head continues to blast what is probably anodic music. Together with a little burger, who's out there right now, doing some seriously progressive sonic experimentation, we like to think of ourselves as music venue organizers. I mean, music venues have you organized. We have many in the pipeline, officer. That means they haven't set up a single one yet. Yep. Why are you here? You see, we've been all over Jamrock North, prospecting for real estate to establish a new venue in. Honest of talent. Yeah, thank you, Egghead. And while there is no shortage of raw, unfettered talent spinning tapes in Jamrock, we've had rotten luck with the real estate part. Yeah, I can imagine so. Place is a shithole. I, I apologize for my friend Noid's potty mouth. I realize this is not how you speak to a police officer. I he has authority issues. Was there something you wanted? Your friend Cell said there was a problem with the church. Oh, so you've met her. Good, good. Yeah, it's a matter of occupied ecclesiastical property. I bet you've noticed the derelict hive of Narcomania on the coast. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the church. And I'm not exaggerating. Even a place of spiritual refuge can become a magnet for all sorts of dopeheads and burnouts if left unattended. Dopeheads! Burnouts! He angrily spits on a screw, then starts cleaning it. Well, I'm sad to say, that's exactly what happened. Sad because we were just about to put Martin A's on the map with one of the maddest dance clubs in Jamrock. Nah, strike that in Revachol. Strike that! The world! And sadder yet, because the dope heads and burnouts hold up in there with the worst kind. He leans back a little, watching you with a steady, serious gaze, letting you imagine just how bad those dope heads and burnouts really are. Good. This calls for an opinion. You're an expert in those. I don't stand for narcomaniacs of any kind. No narcomaniacs on my watch. What kind? The spooky kind. What do you mean by spooky? I was hoping you would be the judge of that, officer. All I can say is, their spookiness is the kind that keeps us from restoring this church into a community centre and a place of spiritual refuge. Continue. Also, they don't eat or clean the building. Shit's gonna collapse. People just wanna spin tapes without them spooking it up. Place has bad signs. No one can dance like that. I will go clubbing with you, egghead. Thank you, Egghead. So you're gonna look into it, right? It should be a police matter. Getting them out. Whatever spooky stuff they're doing, I'm sure it's not what the Ecclesiastes meant their property for. Yeah, I'll go look into it. All right, man. The cell told me Noid put the padlock on the door. Why? I did ask Noid to install a measure against more drifters wandering in. It's a temporary fix, just something to contain the situation. I had to do it in an hurry. Not my best work. But it should hold for a while. You got the key? Of course. Noid, give the officer the key. All right. Reaction speed, medium. Be the cool cop. Catch the keys as it flies towards you. You sense the trajectory of the little piece of metal and plastic. The object makes a small ringing sound as it approaches. Just the tiniest chime to your left. Catch it. ka -ching. The key hits your palm. The speed freaks nod to you approvingly. Play it cool. The speed freak nods to you. How long have those people been locked in there? Not long. Like a week, maybe? Oh, they're probably dead. <laughs> uh, can you be sure they haven't starved to death? I'm super sure they're alive. I mean, come on. I'm at least 90%. Maybe 85% sure they're still alive. So you guys have been out here listening to your music for a week. 
After you locked a bunch of people in a church. All right. Somewhere in the ruinous past that led you here, there was something called exams. You may have learned the term involuntary manslaughter there. 85% is not good enough when you're dealing with someone's psychological well-being. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. I guess it wasn't very hardcore of us to just lock them in like that. No, it wasn't. Me too. I shouldn't have that kind of power over another person. I'm not the one with the violence monopoly here. You are. I'm glad that key is out of my hands now. <laughs> I like these guys. Other questions. Sure, man. Tell us what you want to know. Let's do it. Who exactly are the people? You mentioned some kind of Ecclesiastes on the church. I want to ask you about this tent full of equipment. Yes. What? So you brought your own water. Yeah, yeah. Good to have. Bitch to carry. When I first scattered the place, I did some reconnaissance. I'm not sure the church even has running water. It's distilled, too. Uh, oh. It's the one they sell at the fuel station. It's like he's lying to you, my liege. But he's slippery enough that there's nothing for you to grab hold of. What's with all the nose effect? The what now? Points a bottle of nasal spray on the ground. Oh, the old Ultra. We... He's like an actor looking to the souffler for his line. The souffler? I have a major sinus infection. Stuffy nose. We all do. Shit's all blasted up. Winter. Can't even breathe. Sound fine to me. Yes. That's all nose effects doing. Without the noser, I'd be drowning in shit right now. Oh man. Nose effect is the shit. Ah, uh, we don't want to ask for that. Good, now on to the next thing. Yes. What? Enough of this. He nods enthusiastically. No doubt. A little relieved. Cell was high, unexplained nose effect, headphones were sold. 58. That's logic. We can bump our logic, I think. Always. Let's bump our logic. What's this? Wow. So someone's been a little boring. No, I'm not. Get out of here. Logic. What do we got for logic? We lost our hat, but we were trying to be nice. Here we go. Plus two logic. Put that on. Is there any more logic? Physical calculus, encyclopedia. Plus one logic. Logic plus three. Okay, let's try this. We should be able to pass it with this. Hi again. So uh 92. Going? Godly. But we're passing it. A number of things don't add up. Let's take a look. Let's look at this logically. How about gather around, kids? Okay, kids, now gather around. The young speed freak puts down a busted capacitor and looks at you. The one with the large head seems very enthusiastic about whatever you have planned. Their would-be leader is less amused. Sometime in the past, I'm not sure when and where, but betrayal was involved. I fell sick and became the shadow you see now. But before that, I had reason to believe I was a police detective. Yeah, I like this. But you still are. Thank you for your kind words, but to everyone in here, but everyone in here sees I'm a disgrace to the uniform. I was good enough in this job to be awarded the rank of Lieutenant Euphreiter. I could have been captain. Imagine that. What happened? It smelled so impossibly sweet. Life tore me a new asshole. I did. I happened to myself. That's a real downer. Now, obviously, that might as well have been a thousand years ago, but there's still some detective left in me. The young speed freak is silent. This isn't the makings of a club. It's a tent full of laboratory equipment for manufacturing drugs. I have no idea how you arrived at that conclusion, but it's wrong. Look, we even have speakers. He points at the speaker. One speaker. They have one speaker. Where's his friend? Did he lose his friend? What do you mean, friend? The other speaker. You have one. It's a one-speaker system. It's monodynamic. You wouldn't know the first thing about sound reproduction in anodic music. Other speaker. 
This may be the brain damage talking, but you've definitely never heard of monodynamic or one speaker systems. You have no headphones. Wouldn't a cell need her headphones to spin tape? What do you know about spinning tape? Nothing. And no, you pawn them, likely for lab equipment and drug ingredients. I'm sorry, but there is no lab equipment and no drug ingredients. What about the uh, nosefed? He said it was for his nose. What more do you want? Likely pseudoephedrine. Almost exactly the shape of ephedrine. Ephedrine makes you happy. And so does pseudoephedrine. Distilled water, cornerstone of a clean lab. And of all cellular-based life. What's your point, Lawbringer? There's no need for me to pile on anymore, is there? No shit. In short, you tried to use a police detective to set up a drug lab. That's... Come on, that's... Punishable by summary execution? It's not. So what are we going to do with you? What do you mean, do? We do this lawman style. First you tell me everything, then I pass judgment. You tell me what's really going on, and we'll work from there. I can be lenient. I don't care, I just wanted to crack the case. Do what you want, and I'll do what I want. Let's go with two. What do you mean by lenient? Not calling back up and hauling your ass off to the pen. Haven't you heard? I'm the dirtiest cop this side of river. I'll make life hard for you using every connection I've got. We'll see. Now speak. He thinks for a moment, then opens his mouth, but closes it again, then finally raises his hands. Things are just way too hard for an entrepreneur in this city. It's not like we're not going to turn the church into the wickedest club in East Revershaw. Because we are! We totally are! We just gotta turn it into a speed lab first. You know, to get our foot in the door. And why did you need me? Like I told you, spooky arseholes moved in while I was getting all this stuff together. A month ago, the place was empty, and now it's all spooked up. They're not really spooky, are they? No, man. They're spooky, all right. It's just that they would also probably call the police if we started cooking speed in there. But the sign was way off, too. I couldn't feel the love at all. Sir? You promised you'd be lenient. Give me your cash, ask for a bribe, pack them up and report them. Get lost, I don't want to see you again. Let's do this clean. No speed lab, just a club for anodotic music. I wouldn't work without the lab. It wouldn't work without the lab. Do what you have to do to keep the club alive. Proceed with both. I have to look into the spooker situation before I can decide what to do with you. Decide later. Man. All right, this is a pretty big decision here. All right, let's try to think about this logically. Give me your cash just makes me super crooked cop. I don't really need money right now. Anyway, I think I've asked for money from two people, maybe one person, and I felt horrible about it. Pack up and report to Precinct 41. Arrest. Hmm. They haven't set up the lab yet. We just know that's their intentions. They've got their stickers. I see them everywhere. That's probably how they're going to advertise. This is probably the best way to go. It's also the most neutral way to go. Let's do this clean. No speed lab, just a club for an anodic, anodic, anodic music. It's a weird word for me to say. Proceed without the club. Or just let them do it. It wouldn't work without the lab. Do what you have to do to keep the club alive. But do we want a... Anodic Music Club? Let's kick him out of here. Get lost. I don't want to see you again. No, please! There needs to be a club for Anodic Music in there. Everyone hates each other. Everybody hates it here. It's all just drugs and we're slaves and I can't. We are running out of time. Without a smile, Egghead looks heartbroken and older than you thought he was. We need a win. I promise this will be a win. We won't cook speed in there. We'll do it clean. We'll do it true. We'll do it sober and real and beautiful. This will be a victory for the light. This will be nothing. You can hear the ice cracking underneath you. Outside on the pier, the last century development crumbles in the wind. A grape shot row of falling houses, and so does Rue de saint Jérôme and Main Street. The old cinema is sinking underneath Villa La Bosse. Man, that speech was beautiful. I think I've changed my mind. 
I mean, it was a beautiful speech. And I like Egghead. It'll probably fail. But you know what? Don't a victim. Thank you. The young man gulps like he's trying not to cry. Do it without the lab. Yeah! Smile widens to inhumane proportion. His teeth beam in the floodlight. I knew it. The would-be leader drops his spike head between his knees. It's impossible now. No, Andre, it's harder now. This hard cop has come to show us how much the fish is, and the fish is always so much more. We all know there was never going to be a club for anodic music with the speed lab. Now it has a fighting chance. So there was never going to be a club in there? There needs to be a club for anodic music in there. Needs to. So we won't cook speed in there. We'll do it clean. We'll do it true. We'll do it sober and real and beautiful. Right, let's call this incident crime prevention, but I have my eye on you. I like you, Egghead. You're super positive, dude. Okay, we'll try to do it without the drugs. Yeah, do it without the drugs. We'll do a straight club up in there, spinning the maddest reels, and nothing but, I swear to God. Okay, Egg? From here on, it'll be straight all the way. Alright, who are in the church? Oh yeah, that's a meteor and name for the founding party. Thought it'd be cool to use it. If you don't know what the founding party is, there might be a way to mask it with minor demagoguery. What do you mean by meteor? You know, of meteo. Concerning meteo. Meteo? Meteo. A country. On Muindi. On the Muindi Isola. One of the poorest of the first world nations today. But once a great ancient civilization. Capital, Tilakos, by Pacentic. I don't even know what the founding party, party is. Come to think of it, I've never really looked them up, you know. I can't give you a precise definition, but they're a very powerful religious organization. And? And they have roots in ancient mass society. And they're the custodians of the Pericanesian church. Plus, they anoint the innocents. They, like, made the innocentic system, no? Okay, so we don't trust the innocentic system because we know... Dolores Day, who is known as the greatest innocence, we personally have some form of relationship with her, and we feel that she betrayed us and everyone. So it sounds like we've had a crisis of faith, a crisis of conscience, a crisis of reality. Sounds doesn't sound like they would appreciate a dance club in their church. You're totally wrong about that. The Pericanassian church is about love. Anodic music is about love. I got love for my Pericanassian posse. Love is the relay out of death. We dance. He violently shakes the tape player as if to see if he can break it. Love is hardcore. Unity. Unity. Make some noise for my Insulindian posse. He turns the volume up and then looks at you with a knowing nod of if it's obvious you will now break into dance. You feel it. The anodes and the cathodes coursing through you. Your big toe starts tapping along to the base. Oh, we're dancing. As if testing the waters. I don't understand it was lame of me to suggest otherwise. Anodic music is about love and so is the Perikinesian church. No, this is too much. No sane organization wants this level of absurdity in their church. I guess love can be pretty hardcore. I don't quite understand what you're talking about. What's a posse? No words. Enjoy the beat. Nod your head. Feels good. Uh, let's agree with them. We'll try to put the music in the church. Yeah! Yako Qatar! The place to be! Do it for the masses. Do it for the crew. His friend forms a fist with a screwdriver still in his hand. Approvingly so. I didn't want to say it, but it was pretty lame of you to imply otherwise. Anyway, you got more questions? No, I think I'm pretty the good. The one with the large head is still looking at you, nodding his head, waiting for your body to start moving. Let's do it. You feel like you could go for a little disco when, or if they get this club going. You've got it in you. 
yeah, that's it for now. As always, we'll be right here, waiting patiently for the news. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get out of here. So it looks like we're going into this creepy church. Let's look at... Well, there's a few things over here. Let's look at this. Tribalistic markings. Pole screwed in the ice. I guess trash. Trash. Can we lower this? A pane of etonite has been planted into the snow. Two poles are holding it up. Barely holding it up. It could fall over any minute. A stronger gust of wind might be enough. Push it over. The pain falls into the icy snow with a soft thunk. End. All right. To the church we go. Oh, this is the church. All right, we have the key. We can just walk in. Heavy wooden doors. More than the lock turns easily. Let's go. A great whoosh of air rushes into the dark innards of the church, as though rushing to fill a great vacuum in the heart of the city. There ain't no love in the heart of the city. Well, let's hope everyone's not dead. They may be. They were locked in here for a week. Oh, okay. is that Dolores Day? Very... Very dramatic. Let's zoom right back out so I can see everything. What's this? Looks like people carved into here? This grotesque wooden figure looks half finished. The figure was added later. It's not part of the original church. Okay. Dolores Day may have twisted what the original vision of the church was. More of the forked lightning pattern you saw outside. Bark beetles? No, it looks intentional. Some long forgotten style. This place is creepy. What's this? The blackboard is filled with complex equations. They look recent. Something to do with radio frequencies. Radio frequencies. Bowl is filled with water. A lot of wire runs directly into it. Could these wires work as contact microphones? Okay. The silence in this part of the church, it's almost palpable. All the shifting matter and shuffling of living things is gone. Nothing seems to exist beyond the church anymore. Maybe if you were to stand in just the right spot, even your footsteps would be completely silent. Wait, I think I still hear something. And then it's gone. Almost all of it. But for the faintest of hums, it seems the sound here is detached from its source somehow, if not blotted out outright. Truly unusual. You can hardly hear your own breathing. I don't want to do either one of these. Yell. Your voice is barely audible. Not a howl, but the softest of whimpers. Stomp your feet and clap your hands. You produce a few muffled thumps, after which the silence feels even more total somehow. What's happening, Kim? The lieutenant points to his ears and shakes his head. Then he leans closer. Can you hear anything? Almost nothing. It's beginning to worry me. The church me. just has strange acoustics, some engineering trick. Maybe the church was designed this way to prevent boisterous activity, singing and dancing on its premises. Whatever it is, it's definitely real. Something odd is happening around us. The lieutenant doesn't reply. But you can sense him tense up next to you. Look into the bell tower. The orderly rows of ceiling panels become barely visible, then disappear completely in the darkness of the tower overhead. Red check. We need perception. What if I don't want to know what's up there? The silence. The darkness. They've enveloped you as in a cocoon. You cannot move anymore. Guess we're going to try it. Pass. Fail. One of those checks, I wish I would have 
known that check was coming, I could have put Just gear darkness on. darkness without end. It makes your head spin. Try to make out something. There's nothing. You're dizzy and disoriented as you see dark and more dark rising. Officer, what are you looking at? He follows your gaze, attempting to see whatever it is that you are seeing. What's the darkness like? Filled with vague shapes of woodwork. The sense of a great height. Blink. Uh-oh. Creepy. You see something hanging from the rafters. Creepy. Looking straight at you with dark eyes. What is this? Maybe it's possible to talk to it. What the heck? What is going on? Talk to it. Is that a man? Looks more like part of the carpentry of the building came alive and is now studying you intently. Say nothing. The man leaned forward a little, fixing you with a steady, unreadable gaze, then speaks. Habitual alcohol use has made you into a scared little pussy, Holmes. But don't worry. Everything's gonna be all right. You come to the right place. What are you? That accent is Villa Lobos, a peninsula in Mesk and a district in Jamro. There's a sizable contingent of Villa Lobos speaking Mesks in Rivershaw. Right place for what? Here you can receive the mother's love. And when you're ready, she will take your hand and lift you out of the despair at the bottom of that bottle. This man is obviously a habitual narcotics user. Do we really need to question him? Hey, and what was that about the bottle again? You haven't even drank that much lately. Lay off it already. Shish. Run away? Is there another option? I need to talk to you about police things. Oh yeah, sure. You don't know anything about alcohol use. You got it all under control, way. I could smell the control all the way over here. This conversation is making me uncomfortable. Let's talk about something else. I know it's hard to admit that you have a problem. I was like you once. Couldn't take an honest look at the damage Elbino was doing to my mind and my spirit. You know, actually, since we're here, you may want to pay attention to what the ceiling climber is saying. Who do you think you are? Some crazy guy under the roof? What is this shit? You know, alcohol is central to my identity. I wouldn't drink if I just would, wouldn't be me. This is stupid. I don't even know what this is. It's all well and good, but we need to talk about the unlicensed occupation of ecclesiastical property. I feel like you have a point. Don't trust me. Trust the mother. I'm only the messenger, Holmes. His voice echoes in the cold air of the church. This is the church of the mother of silence. You are welcome here. He sways gently on the beams, waiting for you to take it all in. You have no idea what the fuck he's talking about. Is he just trying to throw you off your game? Mother of silence, and we're about to throw some music in here. Whatever it is, he's quite confident about it. Just look how gracefully he sways. Tis not an act to my liege. Save him perchance, he hath deceived his very self. This man is a zealot. You know where the other spooker is? Point to the strange machines around you. Other spooker? Oh, esa viejita es muy estudiosa. <laughs> Don't know, Holmes. The Aita is grandma. Wait, there is another person living in the church, and it is a viejita? See if I can find her some other way. No. I just call her viejita because of her clothes. She's actually quite young. Or maybe not that young. You don't know where she is? H is just one of the many masks we wear. That's what I said, Holmes. How can you not know when you both live here? Don't really follow her comings and goings. Just see her typing on her computer now and then. We got different interests. So you got nothing else to tell me? How she looks, what she does, who she is? I'm afraid not, Essay. You just have to wait until she comes back, or... Or search through her radio computer. Some ravers want to turn this place into a nightclub. The ones in the tent outside, right? I see him. 
thing they scared of me. So what do you think about the nightclub? Why not? They wouldn't bother me none. I'm usually way up there, imbibing. Ain't no music on earth that can reach where I go. Might even be nice to have some company. Hey, I didn't, really didn't expect you to say that. Where'd you come from? Up there, Holmes. There must be something illegal about living in a church ceiling. I don't know yet, but there must be. Okay, are you human? <laughs> I am. At least in part, Holmes. Until the mother's love burns away the cruel distinctions of the body. What does he mean, in part? Well, at least you're human, that's a relief. Glad you're feeling more comfortable. First timers are always nervous. All right, I have other questions. The sinewy figure lingers on the wooden beams, blending into the shadows. All right, thanks, crazy guy on the ceiling. All right, and that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy my content, please consider a like, a comment, and or a subscribe. Stay tuned for the next episode. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.